Hey, there we go. I was muted. Yep, nope, working the kinks out from the last thing. <laughs> I'm a little laggy too. But wait, yo, where do I where do I host your channel to my channel? I don't even see that option. It's like underneath the. Uh, it should be right underneath my thing, like oh, the right. screen on the right side. Yeah, I was uh, doing, um, sorry, we're late. We're do I was doing visuals over on uh, Brightside's channel, and then we were doing some tech stuff, trying to figure it out, making it work. A little late. Yeah, I don't know what more stuff I was, I'm doing here. Like. Let's go. Hey, hey, over here slacking. I'm trying to fix these scenes here I got going on here. Uh, oh, interesting. I'm here. One sec, brother. All good. All good. I got to take these out of here. Take a dab. Sounds good. Boom. Delete that. What's good? Yo. <laughs> I got a bunch of extra shit some places. Dab straw. Hey, nectar collector. What the heck? This doesn't seem right. Uh, this performance. I'm pretty sure that that's what that is. Let me see what this scene is. I can't, okay, that's what that is, I think, right? Oh. There we go. I think I have the chroma off there. Not that one, so I'm gonna turn this off. I'm over here. Fucking frame rate is dropping like crazy for some reason. I don't know why. Yeah, buddy. Oh, yes. <laughs> Hey, Temple's Law. Okay, well, this is what we got for now. I'm not fucking around with that. Oh, there's two of these here. Delete. How goes it? It's going over here. It's going over here. Share to host, but I don't, I'm not stressing it. There's nothing to host if we don't start. There we go. Out, so I might as well just rock. If you go into the creator dashboard on your channel, you could click raid channel too. Still learning this stuff, folks.
Uh, not really tech problems, just tech. You got it. It was just sort of doing a little late. I was doing visuals on Brightside's channel, so. Just was hanging out. There we go. You're in here. You're raiding. It happened. It happened. Okay, let's see. Um. see what happens if I do this. Uh, okay, cool. Can we turn your mic volume up on your end? My vocal mic? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause the is it, was all the drum stuff. Should everything come up, or is it just no? Nah, just the vocals because I'm getting a little hiss over in the Discord, so I'm trying to turn it down to compensate for the hiss, so I can turn you hear you a little bit better. Hey, 25 people, 25 people. Thanks for sticking around. If you were over on the bright side stream, once we get this, uh, once it last this last little bit sorted, I'm I'm gonna play. Say again. Check check one two. Is that louder? Yeah, it's a little bit better. A little bit better. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Woo. Check, one, two. Hey. There one, we two. go. Much better. The drums aren't too loud now, though, are they? No, that's fine for now. Cool. And we'll, I'll let you. Cup of coffee going here. Let's go. I'm gonna switch it over to the hang mode and bring in here. Here we go. It's it's been a while. It's been like it's been since last Sunday. But uh, here here he is. Wolf, yo, what's good, man? Well, you know, holiday season, a weird one at best, but feeling pretty good, you know, just been staying busy over here and uh, plenty of projects keeping me entertained and interested and inspired for this uh, northeast winter that we know so well. <laughs> yep. The, the the sixty degrees one day, and then the next day it's fifteen degrees and snowing, and we got two feet of snow. Yeah, it's <laughs> it's definitely just gets more and more physically painful every year, too. <laughs> you know, when it gets this cold. But yep, it's like, good when you're a studio dweller yeah, to. Uh, but when you go outside, zero guilt about not being outside or you know hiking or enjoying some beautiful nature. So it is. It does help, kind of keep the productivity and creativity train yeah. rolling. Not but trying, not trying to go outside in the cold. So who, who doesn't no. mind staying home in the studio and working on more things? And plenty, plenty of things cooking. Like, yeah, like as I was saying earlier. Um, I don't know who anybody, if anybody watching, also uses uh, Resolume, the like video program that we use for for video effects and triggering and stuff. But I upgraded to the latest version, which is awesome. And, uh, but none of my MIDI mappings from my old pieces carried over. They like totally changed how mappings and the setup of like, what triggers what. Yeah, exactly. Big, sad SpongeBob energy. Um, <laughs> so it kind of been, uh, it's been a little bit of a pinch point on, uh, the difference of, you know, making new stuff and being able to consistently perform all the stuff or any of the stuff that I've had before. So luckily I do have a good amount of my, you know, already existing material that I can play. So we're going to have a great time today. But Thank you for the bits. A hold up on the uh, productivity, but 
all good things. What are you up to, my man? How's it going? So you got some new gear. I got uh, I got some uh, new gear over here. Uh, I got uh, the Prophet uh, 16. Yeah. Yep. It's pretty. It's it's fun having. It's fun having some pads and. Some, oh yeah, some some eighties synth style noises. Leads. Yeah, and the ba- there's some there's some good bass tones on there. Oh yeah, absolutely. But, uh, shout out that classic prophet yep. lead it. vibe is so oh so unique. A hey, gifted tier one sub to Watson. Is that, that's your dad. <laughs> I know <laughs> that's funny. Hey, you have woken from an edible nap. Hey, shout out to my dad is in here too. So we got Brightside's dad and my dad hanging out in here. Nice. Shout out to Sam, Sam Urbanski. Even though know, after, after all these years, you're still going to talk shit about the Patriots, my friend. But Don't you dare forget that I beat you a hundred and nothing in Madden. So I won't let you live that down. Sorry, I, I just had to talk my shit real quick. Hey! hey. Real quick question. How's my bit. sync? Is my, when I hit my snare, is it in time or is my audio a teeny bit early? Because I might need to adjust that. Um, do it again? Let me see. You check the performance mode because uh, that's what matters most. Do it again. Oh, I'm sorry. Hold on. Bring it right on the road, so some of the crazy I had a, I, effect capabilities. We were we were muted. We were muted. We were muted. My bad. Oh no! Because I forgot That's when I switched it. When I switched it to uh, the performance mode, I have to mute this. Mm. Damn, I was talking shit, Sam, and you missed out on it. I'm just oh, kidding. No. They didn't hear any of that. They didn't hear any of it, oh, man. Ah, you lucked out, bro. You lucked out. Yeah, you got. Homie was getting. Roasted. I was getting. I was getting in on there. Hey, what's up, Matt? How you doing? I'm like the only person who heard the extent of the uh, yeah the roasting. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Love you, brother. Um, it, was, it was all in good in jest. Yes. Um, but yeah, Gable's picking up a pretty sick piece of gear that, uh, per my recommendation, that's gonna be yeah, <laughs> pretty game changing for his setup. Exactly. Uh, it's the X32 digital mixing board for anybody who's nerdy. <laughs> I have the big version in my room here, but the one he got is the rack version. But it works the same exact way, except it's like a rack mountable thing. It's like the size of a suitcase. Size of a suitcase. You can bring it around can anywhere. Around so around so anywhere. So not only not, not, will it vastly increase the creative capabilities and the sonic, uh, you know, outcome of it, the streams at the hideout, but once shows exist again, <laughs> all that capability can come right in a rack and roll right with them. I'm just sending them a left and right and telling them to shut up. Yeah, exactly. You ain't I'm doing nothing to, to my sound, thing. dude. I'm, 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 my buddy has one that I might trade him for some work or for some gear, uh, because I have the big one, as I said. But you could literally just grab a flash drive. I could boot up, you know, my exact profile. From oh no there way! The, on the big the one, really? So if I go to a venue, I could be like, boom, on that. Yeah, well, actually, that's that's kind of depending on how they're patched, obviously. Okay. But yes, if they had one, you could even just be rolling with a flash drive with that profile. <laughs> that, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty fire. That's gonna be sick. Future vibes. What did I do with the dabber? <laughs> did I leave I it in a the jar? Damn. 
thing over here, man. It's been good. Oh, there we go. We go. There we go. There we go. Of light. I've been messing with a lot of lighting programming over here. Yeah. So I it's got been it's been how many months ago did we have? It was your episode like seven or something, and now we're at episode episode sixteen. The season finale. Oh, the consistency. And also, right. I just I just wanted to touch. Uh, somebody was like, "Are we doing Sundays? Are, Are we doing Sundays Sunday? next year?" And yes, we're going to continue Sundays every yeah. Sunday as as long it's as good, possible. It's a good day for it. And I'm then, trying to get back to the point of Sunday night streaming consistently. I've just been busy with work and. Then we took a work break, and I was like, you know, the only thing that's stressing me out right now in my break is feeling the pressure to, like, make a ton of new shit to stream, like, this Sunday, you know? Like, not this Sunday, but last week I felt that kind of, and I was just like, you know, I got to breathe, <laughs> clear my mind, get inspired again, and so it's good to be back now. Mind. It was, uh, it's a lot to keep up with, so props on the consistency, my man. Thanks, man. And then I wanted to also say that we're going to introduce introduce a new segment of the day as well next year. We're going to do two streams on Sunday. And we're going to do one 420 per use. And then we're going to do one like midnight. And we're going to hit it midnight until question marks and get some get some guests, try to get some pre-recorded sets and try to Get the vibe, yeah. get the vibe going for the evening. Tap into those uh, morning Euro people waking yeah. up, starting their day with some vibe, vibey tunes. So we're gonna do the the nighttime one, and then I'm I'm gonna do. It's gonna be called the, the Renegade. And I'm just gonna pick a random day during the week to do some more streaming, so I don't hold myself to having to do stuff guaranteed more than once. But there might be, there may or may not be another stream during the week. And then incrementally, I'll start adding more. I wanted to start doing some video game stuff, but I gotta figure out what what I'm gonna do. Yeah. But what are you playing right now? I've been Did doing you pick up the Cyberpunk, and is it as bad in comparison to how good it said it was gonna be as I'm seeing? I I, I bought it, but I can't play those games really. It's just too much. It's too overwhelming. I'm like, I would. I'm, that's such a rabbit hole. I'm trying to learn this yeah. X X32. I'm about to snag. Not exactly, like, <laughs> dude. I used to play <coughs> games as a kid. I love video games. I'm still very inspired by them. And I watch a lot of like video game related content about whether it's designing them or what, you know, people are interested in them, you know, like what new techniques or whatever storytelling techniques are in there and the technology, but at the same time, yeah, actually playing them and committing that amount of time to them is something I can't even fathom squeezing into my schedule at all, and I'd rather I feel like Ableton's my video game, you know, to play. Like, yeah. yeah. I'm, like, oh, too too far gone in that. I, uh, yeah. I can't I can't delve into that. Because it's, like, I remember when I used to play Oblivion and stuff, it'd be like, oh, I need to harvest and... Ho- harvest these carrots and onions for my character. And it's, it's, like, 5 p.m. and I haven't even eaten anything all day. <laughs> and you're harvesting carrots. I'm, and like, eating. yeah, I really need to take care of my character right now. So dumb. Yeah. Oh man, the irony and the that's that's some Black Mirror shit right there, my man. That's so for real. So fucking weird, man. There yeah. we go. We're in the Black Mirror. I'm trying. Right I was trying to get some double e- double effects this, going yeah. on here. There this is bringing we go. me back. Me being inside then, the Windows Media. Yeah, oh, dude, really just here we go, oh, dude. You're in it now. The old life. Hey, there we go. Nice. Boom. It's comfortable in here. Yeah, it's 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 how it's you like it's doesn't fr- look like that outside. Familiar. <laughs> yeah, it feels familiar. Does <laughs> it's not look like that outside. Skyrim definitely feels like real life when you wake up at eight in the morning and play it until you haven't eaten all day until twelve in the morning and then wake up and repeat it on <laughs> on cycle and forget to eat. Yeah. Eating is man, it's really really a time killer. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I love food and I always have my mom was a chef and you know on tour I was always the guy like let's go find the craziest yeah. thing to eat yeah that's what I was my goal was when I did the first couple tours like, yeah what's oh, the best food a, and the best such the most renowned food in the area that experience yeah exactly regional food and famous foods and cultural stuff because once you get it out of the foods. way once then you go back on tour and then you're saving money yeah and you're eating broccoli you know you're oh saving money you're bringing a, you're bringing an air fryer on uh <laughs> 
on tour and cooking shit in the in the that, green room. Yeah. No, that's what I'm about to do, dude. I'm serious. Hey, Good nice luck. carb cap. Shout out to Sean Burns for breaking my other one and buying me this one. Hey. hey. Um, <laughs> Air fryer. I've heard good things. Air fryer is like if you ever have food that you really are like disappointed about and you're about to throw out and you think that you, you wouldn't eat it because just it's like two days old, like just be air be frying shit up. Yeah, no, air frying egg rolls during the set. That would be... Proper. Man, I've been really trying to eat right, dude. You know, it's been my thing recently. It's been it's been interesting to make food back, not back into it because it never really was this for me, but turn food into just like a utility at this point. Yeah, to you know, keep like, feeding the beast of making creating music. It's like I'm ah oh, damn it, I gotta eat right now so I can keep making and music. And just health wise, right? Yeah. yeah, I'm not like going out for extravagant meals. Obviously, it's yeah. not a possibility. I'm not cooking huge extravagant meals. I am cooking for myself often i enjoy cooking but just what i'm eating and like the experience of like food as a therapy or food as you know you know know, just just thinking you need something 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 that sucks sucks, isn't good for you to like feel full and feel satisfied satisfied, changing my mentality and my diet and all that it's been great i've been it's been a a, you know good new skill to to learn and at a time (laughs) in my life where if i like don't do it now um 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 it's been great, actually. To it's all perspective with <laughs> anything, you know. It's with that, with exercise, with creativity, with relationships, any of that. Any of that. Food is life. Food is life. It is. It is. It is. It is. It is. It is. <laughs> and I got my <laughs> cheat days here and there. Clearly, yeah. but uh, it's been nice it's been to, nice to, to make nice the vast majority just back. clean, good food. I cut out like pretty much all breads, all sugars, all dairies. Oh wow! Look at you. Like a little honey, you know. It's like that's like the sugar. Uh, not yeah. Pretty much no dairy. Nice. Really try to minimize. Yeah, any carbs kicked or out bread the kicked out the cheese and stuff. I mean, I yeah. Mean, I meant to say milk. Me I, to- I totally lied about her. cheese because I I'm eating cheese all the time. I meant to say milk though, for real. <laughs> well, you're a string bean, so it's okay. I mean, for me, <laughs> I eat cheese and I like feel like cheese. I'm like, no, nah, I don't feel good right now. <laughs> like, yo, like, nah, I ain't like, feeling nah. that. So, <laughs> no, it's been great. It's been really good, and so yeah, time, money, and health wise, so all all are benefiting from it. So it's very easy to like run the numbers of the bliss that you get if you like house a pizza versus like the self fulfillment you get if you don't. <laughs> you know, it's uh gets the momentum going in the right direction. Hopefully, by the end of this nightmare uh, quarantine slash winter. I'll come out better for it. So. I tried popping the virtual oh. camera back for you to see if you can see. No. There you go. Trying. You've gone 8-bit on me. You almost turned in. You, know, you looked like the illustration of your cousin for a minute there. <laughs> you turned into Entelec's illustration logo. Shout out to Entelec, by the way. <laughs> Shout out. Hey. Look at now we're both freezing. Take uh, your, your, your I got to get Entelec <laughs> to hop on that. Christmas Carol beat. I guess I should have before Christmas. You're thinking about like, drinking that coffee. He would right kill there. this. What? You got a beat for him? That like Chris, the one I made the other day. Oh yeah. That like Christmas Carol jingle. Fucking you should have. You guys should, you guys should do a TikTok he thing. Kill. He would kill that. Yeah, I gotta send him the the file. Hey, I'm hey, I'm, I'm also behind you over here too. Damn, you got me popping over there. That's awesome. See, look at what's like it's alpha channeling some stuff. Boom! Look at that. Hey. <laughs> I'm about to have a whole new world of, of effects and video control. As I said, today I'll be doing some classics. And today I'm going to, anything I play, I'm really going to try to focus on just opening up the material, like musically and trying some new things. Cause that's a big part of my setup that I feel like doesn't always get realized if someone just stops in and sees one stream or one video. It's like I can take the same, that's why I call them pieces because they're like pieces that I'm putting together, really. Yeah, and it's more, it's not really. I can do them in very different ways. So I want to, yeah, I'll have fun exp- exploring that side of things as opposed to playing tons of new stuff, which I'm, it aren't, isn't totally ready yet. But I will have a ton of awesome new stuff very soon because of some of the upgrades I've made with Resolume, the way I'm running, running my cameras, and some of the stylistic stylist stuff that I can do now, that I really want to do for a while. Applying way more effects to myself. It's always my camera of me over Resolume, which has effects on it, and I don't really have effects on myself, like you got going on me over there, so, yeah. But now I'll be able to do stuff like that.
Hey, yeah, it's gonna be sick. Yeah, the, and the, all these are really super Stop. simple. Uh, Resolum. You like that? It's bring me back to the the nineties days, man. Watch some like shitty you see? I, MTV. You're, 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 you you got I got your picture queued up at the bottom real quick there that from the flyer, and then it says Mad Midi on the. I rip, I had to whip that up really quick bef- in between the streams. Boom. But uh, yeah, I like that. F- the flashing shit looks so cool in the background. It says like the Mad Midi in the back, and it's like flashing. Yeah, it's aesthetic. Let's just say. And then no, oh, eight bit it out. Here we go. And then see you later. And then yeah, goodbye. The eight bit stuff speaks to me, brother. <laughs> oh my God, you're killing it. Oh. <laughs> Let me write this track. Oh, that sting. <laughs> that audio sting is amazing. Dude, oh, it's so good. Don't be, don't be hey, saying just, any. I love. Yo, dude, just be. <laughs> all right. You got the sense. Oh, yes. Just so watch out. All right. You need the AI uh, generate, like, um, face tracking for, like, the, the anonymous black box. Over oh, the eyes. yeah. At any point, everyone can just become, like, a perp on cops, <laughs> you know? All of a sudden, their face is blurred out. That'd be pretty good. Uh, uh, yeah, buddy. Let's. Uh, I'm oh, gonna. P- so I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Yeah, I'm, we'll be right back. I'm gonna play a little thing, and then let's. Uh, let's get get into your thing. You know. Yeah, yeah, dude. dude. Let's All hear right. some. Let's hear some freaking honeycomb, honey dripping. Boom! I'm gonna mute you and Disky. Here we go. <laughs>
Subscriber, let me let me see some emotes, y'all. Let me see them if you if you, if you got them. Just let me let me see them. All right, yeah, I, I'm feeling that. We go, I'm gonna do. Let me. I'm gonna. Hold on, let me. Can I do one more, Jules? How you feeling? Can you do one more? Let me get a thumbs up. You're muted right now. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's. I want to. I gotta. We gotta get in there. We gotta get into it. I gotta find out which one it is though. Okay. Hey. Good looks. Right side. Let me see those emotes. Let me see those emotes. This one's for you, Kumar. <laughs> Got the feeling, got the feeling all the time. 
couple songs that i can replay in there there's something you know after a while after after eight months we have two songs <laughs> hey what's up y'all muted now what's good i'm blocking this joint was whoa. Fire. whoa excuse me we are already we have i've already started don't <laughs> don't trick me i literally did not press any of that no i'm just kidding I don't know what's going on here. Uh, but how you feeling over there? How you feeling over there? I'm good, brother. How are you? That was banging. Thanks, dog. That's a couple new ones that since the last time. That first joint was Grime Town. Oh, that yeah. Awesome. Fucking, that's the first loop song coming out. It's called Mind. Sick. That's funny. It's like that vibe. Just that, like, housey, but kind of dirty and grimy. Yeah, it's fucking. like... Fucking... Uh, that's, I just did a remix for the special. Um, the the track Egg Time off the new record, and I just did it. At like Happy belated birthday to Luke Beeman. Yes, yes, yes. Brother man. Brother man. Oh yeah, it's coming out, Kumar. But uh, yeah, I did. I just turned it into a kind of vibe like that. It was like one eighteen, cooking but still kind of chugging and just like I grimy think. gnarly bass lines. It's pretty funny. I can't wait to drop it. I'm feeling the house vibes lately. House and, Me too. House and drum and bass. It. Yep. It's like so funny. It's no, like totally. I just noticed. It's like as, as you get older, you start to just like house music more. 
I had a huge house phase I, way back in the day. I refused. But, uh, I was like, no way, house. I'm not listening to the same beat for uh, five hours. But then once I went on Holy Ship, it was like every stage you went to, it was like, all right, it's like. And you're like, all right, nah, I'm not feeling that. Let me go to the other stage. And it's like. And then I'm like, oh, no, no, fuck that. And then I'm going to go to this other stage. And it's like. like I have to love it. I'm like, I, if I'm going to even just like have like a remotely good time, I have to accept the fact that I'm going to have to like some house music. So after that, yeah, then I, I just I got. Love and I love it now. I'm like, all right, give me the same beat. Yeah, it's, oh. it's the devil's in the details, you know. I still have a. And I think that was a bright side notification somewhere in the in the in the depths. Ding a ling. Did you hear that ding? I did. I also hear myself again more than I did before. I don't know why. I haven't changed anything. Oh, the only thing I've changed is all right. Let me go back to this this new this. Uh, oh, where were we? Is it this one? No, it's not this one. It's like a twenty twenty nine. How about now? Check, hey. Better. Is it a little bit better? Yeah. Yeah, the other ones were cooking, so. I'll turn it down a little bit more. Um, oh, yeah, the? I don't know. House is like the devil's yeah. in the details, you know? And, and it's, some, it's taught me so much about texture and just syncopation and groove intelligence because you're working within that four, four on the floor framework and simplicity too because it's like there's when you really break right. down those tr tracks it's like five or six layers super it, right, exactly. clean Minimalism drums and, and efficiency that, yeah and then like one subtone and then that lead and then when the fucking bass drops it's that one super long fucking note that's really echoed out and then it happens only on the drop oh shit am I burning just more just a smart enough groove that it can repeat that much without just feeling like a loop that's just going and and as much that can be constantly evolving as possible and never repeating over the overall you know looped framework it's, i love it i was uh, just listening to the fabric live 41 Sir, mix uh simian mobile discos right, sure. classic fabric live mix Sorry. and uh Man, there's some banging tracks in there. There's this one called M A M O N O A E M O N O by Bento Box, I guess is the artist. And that sounds cool. Damn, Bento that Box. Track, the stereo imaging and the crispness and the just the tones. It's like it's real good. And then of course, just been on a big classic Square Pusher kick again. Square Pusher is a shit. It's such a G, the most G, and uh, garagey stuff. So if we when we start cooking, when, once we do a little collab thing at some point today, I'll, I'm uh, I'm throwing you a, a, a two steppy UK yeah, garage. Vibe let's get it. Sure. I'm going for it. I'll yeah. get some some of the good old Pat Patty boys in there. Yeah. Patty O Patty Patty Hello. Yeah. Yeah, man. So it's, I, I I freaking love house and that remix I did for the special too was like the first. Just straight ahead, like housey dance remixy type track I've cooked in so long, just in that way. I'm always like tracking drums or working on mad MIDI or you know, I've been scoring stuff and just to just cook a straight dance track. And it was the first thing I made in Ableton 11 as well. That's um, out now, or what's up? Beta, oh, so okay. there's still, still some weird things. I can't use Cliff X with it, unfortunately, which means I can't do any mad MIDI with Ableton 11 yet, but. For writing and for drum tracking, especially with the new comping stuff, it's it's great. So, um, yeah, it's really it's it's been really fun to just do that again. I'm definitely gonna be cooking more stuff along those lines soon. So, funny, it was great. And Ian Stewart mastered it. Shout out, Ian. Ian, oh, she scared the shit out of me, my friend. Oh my god. The joint fairy has scared me away. Toshi, Toshi, uh, I would, I will advise that <laughs> that's probably the least cool new feature, honestly. Like, it's, in theory, is amazing. And there have been other options for tempo follow in the past. I haven't actually even tried it yet because I've heard it's not great. Obviously, go for it. And depending on what you're playing and what type of instrumentation and stuff, it may work better than others. But 
I wouldn't I would not hedge bets on that being some like amazing super intelligent thing for all scenarios unfortunately um but there's a couple other options for that I think if you hit me up DM me find me on Instagram or something we could I can we can dive deeper into tempo following stuff depending on what you're playing uh obviously drums being my area of expertise but uh, yes, yeah, so the comping, the comping in Ableton 11 is is game changing. Hey. Especially doing what I do for for tr- tracking drums and just being able to loop a section if I want. I like playing yeah, things sure. through as much as possible for realism and just performance wise. But inevitably there will be, be you know will be passages you want to nail, and now I can just set a loop on that and re-record as many tries as I want until I like love what I did. And then you see them all laid out. I mean, it's, it's very basic DAW stuff. They've had this in logic and, and, and in pro tools forever, but for us Ableton folks, um, now we can just work in one environment instead of having to like track in another thing like that to get the comping. So really dope. Super cool. Uh, yeah. Hey. I'm, do- I'm doing good, dad. Thanks for that. Thanks for asking. I just ate the rest of that food that you, you gave me, so. <laughs> Hell yeah. Um, R- Rubeski said, what were you house? Yeah, yeah, digging into house? I mean, a little bit of everything. I'm really on this new jazz kick right now. Oh, yeah. Super new jazz. Yeah, some of the new, you know, like new rack, jazzy stuff. Rack Rave? Have you heard of Rack Rave? No. Dog. Rack Rave. Rack Rave. R-A-C-K? R-A-T. G R A V E, unbelievable band. They're Rat Grave. Rat Grave. New wow. jazz. This shit is c- cracked out. It's like 80s stuff. New 80s. It's like so good. Incredible. Like what kind of 80s jazz? Like Matheny 80s jazz? Or like. Oh, uh, like. Or like 80s, like 80s, 80s music mixed with jazz. Uh, I don't know. I gotta, like, I can, uh, I'll do a little. I'll, I'll, I'll look it up. No, I'll, There's, yeah, there's so much amazing stuff that's like. Quote unquote jazz now, right? Like Lewis Cole and Noah and uh, Dana Hawkins and Evan Marion. Can you, can you hear this? Just... What's that? Oh, yeah. So, so, yeah, like jazz vibes, but like some 80s tones. It's like Prince meets Chip Korea. Oh. Reminds me of Dame Funk. You fuck with Dame Funk? I'm not, I'm not familiar, actually. D-A-M, Dame Funk. Oh, yeah. He's like, I think he's Compton or, or Oakland. He's like, foot freaking uh, guitar. So gangster. That was so good. I thought Rack Rave was our thing. He just blew it up, dog. Yeah, this is dumb though. It's kind of like Anomaly, too. Yeah, I love that shit. I like that, that vibe. Yeah, that stuff. Domi, JD Beck, Evan Marion, Dana Hawkins, Lewis Cole, Knee Body, Mr. Barrington with Zach Danziger. We got DMCA Tempo Slot said that. I was wondering that myself. Box streams. Hey, what's up? That was, that was hilarious. That was funny. That's a good. That's a good groove, though. <laughs> but yo, you want?
want to hit him? You want to hit him with something? I can do that. Let's let's freaking go. Let's uh let, let me see some let me see some amounts. Oh, 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 oh. We'll put jewels on this way. Let me see some. Some Throw them in the ass. Thank you. Yes. There we go. I can feel your energy. <laughs> Thanks, folks. I love it. Love the emotes. Here we go. I'm gonna mute. Cool. Hold all on. right. Let me, get, um, let me get it all set up. So this first one I'm gonna do. Hold on. I'm gonna mute. Let me is let me, a piece oh. that I did. I wrote with my buddy Brian Ross. Where is Discord? On bass. Hold on. So all the bass that you'll hear. Boom. Muting you. Muting me. Go in here. Then uh, undoing. There we you go. You got me. Yeah, I got you. Cool. All right. Here we go. I'm gonna turn this down. So yeah, this one is one I wrote with my buddy Brian Ross, and uh, we're actually going to start writing some new music again real soon, so I'm excited about that. And uh, yeah, so all the bass that you'll hear is from him. And just to give y'all a brief overview of what I do here, so I trigger audio and video samples with my drums, right? So what you'll see happening behind me um, and in the video screen as it kind of moves around in the different configurations all that is getting played back and triggered in real time uh i loop the incoming midi from my drum so i can make loops i can augment and you know add effects to the video in real time as you can see here like i got you know got that going i can also have this like overhead view so i got this touchscreen controller here on my ipad that allows me to do those effects as you can see oh, up here boop You'll see the effects as I adjust them on the screen. Just to just to give you a quick idea, I found that showing people some of this stuff ahead of time can make a big difference in uh, what what how how the show is received. So yeah, I got triggers on my hi hats. I got triggers on these two hi hats here. I got a trigger on the snare, trigger on the kick. This pad is a trigger. This bar thing here is a trigger. I got a Moog down here. You can see my hand down there. Boop. Hello. And uh, that gets triggered from uh, certain uh, material. This thing is getting triggered in real time. Obviously, as I said, this is my buddy on bass here. So, yeah, I'm using Ableton Live on the computer to host all the MIDI and do all the audio stuff. And um, that controls OBS and controls some of the lights that are in here um, and Resolume for the video stuff. So, yeah, if you got any questions... Feel free to post them in the chat. Follow me on Twitch. I think I'm hosting this channel right now, too. And hit me on Instagram, at Jules Jensen, J-U-L-E-S-J-E-N-S-S-E-N. -S -S -E and, uh, yeah, you'll see see everything I'm up to all, all the time. I also teach a lot of this stuff in a program called the Transmute Accelerator at thetransmuteacademy.com. So enough yammering. just wanted to get that out of the way. Here we go. This is Jules Jensen's Mad Midi. This piece is called Glock. Thanks, y'all. Thanks, Honeycomb. you already I'm not hearing sorry I'm not hearing those pads off my kick like I'm supposed to be so one sec folks please excuse this it's quite a uh, quite a configuration here why don't I hear that though that's so weird but y'all are hearing it one sec excuse me please I'm sorry Hey. 
You know, the beautiful part about some of this stuff is that it, it never works, works ever. So you're always just spending a lot of time just making sure it works. Because, like, you get to a good point, and then you're like, uh, oh, this all good. And then you turn it on, and then some, for some weird reason, this one really random thing is just not working. But, yeah, I'm done. I'll show you some beatbox. I'm going to let him do his thing once he gets that, that sorted. I'll get some beatbox in there. I mean, I could, depending on. We got going here. Hey. Uh. Sorry, one second, I'm just trying to, I don't know, I'm, let's see if I do something else here. So for some reason, one layer of sound isn't getting triggered, even though I see them right there, but they're not making it over. Okay, one second, I can fix this. Hey, uh. hmm. Okay. For some, some reason, reason I, I don't, don't hear, hear you, you now, now, though. Okay. You hear. We'll figure it out. One thing at a time. This should work now. So, this, this, this. Yay. All right, here we go.
Yeah, buddy. Thanks, y'all. How's everybody doing out there? Hey, thanks for the nice comments. Thanks, everybody. Oh, wow. Yeah, Sister Rosetta Tharp. Yes, yes. Oh, honey, comes in the bathroom. It's just me. It's just us. Hey, well, thanks. Let me look through your comments. I really appreciate that, everybody. Thanks for bearing with me with the technical issue at the beginning. Luckily, it was simple, but somewhat inexplicable as to why it was set up that way, but we fixed it, and it worked. Vibing. Thank you. Getting into this. Trying out new speakers, and it's perfect. That's great to hear. Crispy, yes. Want to learn how to troubleshoot? Yeah, exactly. That's kind of, that's what I teach more than, more than most stuff is figuring things out. Yeah. Oh, thank you all so much. Absolutely amazing. I really appreciate that. The drums. Yeah. Uh, these, this setup here is, is so fun. It's been a, a, you know, labor of love to build it and put it together. Um, definitely want to give a shout out to my man Taj Manjardo for this amazing snare drum. As you can see here, it changes color. I have two of these, one's purple and green and stuff, but this is a cast acrylic uh, snare drum that we made. It's got dichroic automobile paint on it to give it this coloring, and uh, it sounds pretty sweet. I love it. It was amazing to help design it. About a year ago, we brought these drums and the guitars that Taj makes out to the NAMM show in L.A., which was amazing. It's crazy to think that was almost a year ago now. Um, but yeah, just want to give a shout out to that. Whoa. The rest of the drums, you know, the rest of the drums, uh, which is actually only two other drums here in this case. This is a lot different than my, a classic drum roll. That was garbage. Sorry. One second. Not great. I got to get better at that. Uh, got to get better at the press roll. It's not easy, actually. It's the left hand. There you go. Um, anyway, uh, yeah, so these, the other, the kick drum and the, and the tom here are uh, Yamaha, early 90s Yamaha maple custom drums. They're amazing. I love them. I'm so in incredibly blessed that they <laughs> made it out of the road life that I put them through uh, in one piece. There's a couple dings and scratches on a few, but they're still in great condition. And uh, I love them. Now they don't leave the house. I have another kit that I will eventually bring back out for gigs. Um, Zildjian cymbals all around, except this is just like a this top piece here is a stack. Three different cymbals stacked together. Hey, honey comes back. I love the sound of that thing, though. My my trashy clappy clapper. The clapper. Um, yeah. Ah, uh, hold on. Play that piece, really. There's nothing hey. for them to do in that. So, uh, but in some of the newer ones that I'll play in a bit, they they come into play more. Hence this angle that you see here, but yeah, Maple Custom, yes, yes, the Sessions knows. They really are. These are the original two. These aren't the Maple Custom Absolutes. Not to say those aren't amazing drums as well, but these are the gold box lug early 90s. This is like if anyone knows Dave Weckl, the you know crazy prog jazz drummer. I don't know, prog drummer is probably not the right way. Fusion, excuse me, fusion and jazz drummer Dave Weckl. This is like the exact kit he played in that era. Um, there's a an album cover where he's like in some, you know, has a horrible mullet and is in some shitty tank top and his like foot's up on the on the kit and the cover and it's like this kit. It's great. Not this physical one, but same model. And they're fantastic. Um, of course, big fat snare drum. Love swapping those out and for different tones, right? Just the go from that classic orchestral boomy to thuddy dead get that yeah and on the snare right just that instant 80s like instant calm trues just like <laughs> right so oh yeah, yeah. 
yeah. a lot of stuff to manage, but it's a labor of love and it's fun. And luckily I do have it dialed pretty much to the point where I can just turn all the stuff on and be rocking pretty quickly, which is great. So Yeah, it's nice to like uh, it. I don't know if I can hear Gable now though. What? Hello. Sorry. Hello. There he is. Sorry, buddy. Hey. hey. I've just been yammering, thinking you weren't back, and Yo. then I see you're back, and I couldn't hear you. Sorry. Hey, it's all good. <laughs> How are you? I'm good. That was that was killer. That was killer. Thanks, buddy. Beep, beep, boom. Seem like the folks are enjoying. Appreciate it. Yeah. Feel yeah. free to go subscribe to my Twitch channel if y'all would like. Go I'm trying subscribe to, get more to Jules on the Pumpkin Pets. Yeah. More to come. More to come. To More to come. I'm going to go back to this view. You want to give me some drum, drum skis, drum ski lumpsies while you yeah. queue up some other some, stuff? Some, some see what's going on. Some collabish. Yeah. Totally. Yes. Here, I'll this mute is, my mic so my you can't hear parts. yourself out. Okay, I'm going to go to this view. There we go. All right. I'm giving you some two step, as I said. A little garagey vibe. All right, yeah, just give me that thumbs up when you got me. Give me a second to kind of really hit my hit my feel.
That was dope. That was dope. So good. <laughs> That's so fun. I was asking people what other kind of beats we should do. Yeah, I, I seen metal industrial and I'm for that. Yeah, definitely. Do some chugging, chugging Trent vibes. Yes, I just gotta find my guitar pick. My guitar pick has escaped me. Dub. Yeah, we can definitely do some dub. So metal, industrial, dub. All combined or or yeah. two. I mean, we can almost com- yeah, we can almost. Yeah, combine. I think that would be sick. We can make them all, make them all make yeah. s- make them make them all make sense. I just gotta find this guitar. It's pick. like a bit. It's somewhere between like dubstep it's like, and dub and metal. So. Yeah. Uh, what's that? The, 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 this With band the that trash crash, they want the trash. Oh, that's definitely in there. This is my. This is the Trent Reznor sounding instrument here for sure. Uh, this is the, uh, the dirty gnarly snare. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I was so stoked I solved my top camera problem in a pinch. Thank God. What 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 a good old thing pressure is, you know. So, oh, literally always something with streaming. I don't know. I don't, maybe I think you you've done enough of these that you're probably pretty damn solid, but like is no matter oh, what. It doesn't matter what it is, right man. Before, it's always the same and shit. I go, it's like something wacky and oh, inevitably. Your setup looks amazing. You got that wide shot there. I hadn't seen that shot before. That was looking prime, bro. Let's see that again. Yeah. Hell yeah. Killing. You got the little Model D up there over the Moog. Got your homie over there. What's up, buddy? Yeah, brother. Shout out to Jake. Hell yeah. Yeah, dude, you're you're cooking. Oh, you got another one up there, too, the top monitor? I didn't even notice that, the big third one. Fire. My man. You got a sub in there? Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm in an apartment, though, so I don't even really use it. Yeah. Dude, it changed my world. Getting a sub in my rig. So good. I I have one, but I need to get my own spot. Yep. Jealous of the so I can the Yole Overdose. I love that name. Yeah, the behind the scenes shot. For real, yeah. Your rig is looking primo, my man. What the heck? Gotta get some lighting though. Now it's time for some vibey park hands with some lighting control, my dude. I'm, I'm going to need your help, my friend. I'm gonna do a piece like that in a bit. I'm gonna do another duo piece next, uh, whenever, and then uh, I'm gonna do one that is using the the lights to control that. It should be pretty cool. So I've been set lately. Damn. Oh, there we go. That's good. I found it. Nice. Uh. Hit him with some some heavy gnarly. Yeah, I'm gonna try. Uh. Uh, it's something like uh, mezzanine meets Trent Reznor meets fucking. Uh, what is that? Ass- massive, attack. massive attack. You know, oh, yeah. like massive attacky. Totally. So grungy. So grungy. What was it? What were, what were we doing? What were we doing? It's like industrially meets some dubby stuff. So I'm, I'm thinking like, I'm thinking this vibe.
That we went from. Oh, wait, I'm still hearing it delayed because I'm listening to the other one. So uh, 
whoever 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 uh, said uh, I don't even know what we started with, but somebody said we always end up in drum and bass, and that's totally right. Yeah, buddy. Yes, love the DNB. It's funny everybody's been doing that. Uh, tears for fears modulation metric modulation thing. I don't know if you've seen people playing over like everybody wants to rule the world, but everyone's trying to play it like all metrically modulated. But no one's done a drum and bass one yet, so I was thinking maybe I'll do do it that way. I love that. That's no. I, I listen to that song almost every day right now. Oh, it's so good. Have you seen the, all the different drummers doing it all weird, you know? Though? No, They'll be I like, haven't. I haven't seen it. You know, like play it backwards. And But I was like, you could totally do drum and bass, you know? What's fatter It'll have like a rolling, you know, like uh, an extra two over it every, for every no, you, four. You got to uh, show me. Yeah. I, I, I'm, uh, I think I might whip up a little vid you might at some to, point you next might day Whip so. it up, dog. Whipping. Yeah, that was fucking <laughs> That was so sick. Yeah, whoever whoever asked for that groove, I hope hopefully they're they're feeling it. More D and B. Yeah, I could throw down some jungly grooves. I I wanna grab another drum. I also wanna do it let me do a quick piece that's only a couple minutes long. I think it's like three minutes long. But it'll be cool because I wanna show some people something. But next if, next collab, I'll throw you some gnarly jungle with my little jungle snare. All right, here we go. I'm going to put you over in the performance mode. Let's do it. Let's do it. Wait. Eh? Let's see if I go into... Wait, why? All right. Wait, hold on. Good over there. Can't tell what's going on. I don't know what's happening. Um... Yeah, yeah. So the next thing I'm gonna do here. Oh, honey comes typing. Oh. Uh, okay. I'm gonna wait a second, I guess. Oh no. Am I am I on? Go into this like freeze hold scene, I guess, right? There we go. Can you hear me? I don't know if I can hear you now. Oop, keeps wigging out. That effect. There's like a stream deck thing going on, maybe, that's like triggering effects like that. I don't know what's happening right now. Hold on. I don't know, I don't know what's going on. For some reason, when I switch to the NDI, I hear you. I can like see. I can, you I can see, you Twitch, can see like, it. I don't hear you on Twitch. On Discord. <sighs> what? Okay, so this is here, but then. What? Whoa. I don't. Okay. Are we in performance mode now? There we go. All right. So. No, we're not ready yet. See. So this one. No, we're not ready yet. I don't know what's going on right now. Okay. Hold on. I'm for some reason. Uh... Ooh, do I just hear you on Discord now, though? That would be good. Yeah, you just hear me on Discord. Yeah. Okay, cool. But I'm just trying to, for some reason. This is just not working. It's No, you're right. I'm still streaming. You're, right. you're still streaming. Yeah, I can see your feed, but for some reason when I switch to this... Uh, where, where, what the hell am I even... Okay, there we go. This. Okay. All right. Well, it's for some reason... Well, even then... All right. Well, I guess... I don't know what happened, but there you are. <laughs> Uh, but wait, what? Now you're gone? Now you're gone? <gasps> oh, I know what's happening. There we go. What happened? There we go. 
stripes. Uh, right, the permanent loop. Right, the permanent loop. Yeah, alright, so we're good to go then. Cool, okay. This one I'm gonna do has some lighting stuff, so at some I mean, I'm cool with you putting video effects over it, but it might, I don't, I, I do want the lighting stuff to be apparent, at least in the beginning, so people can see how it's working, you know. You'll see. Um, alright. So, this next one that I'm gonna do is a little different from Mad Midi, a little bit. So the musical piece is, I originally made it as a piece of music for a video game. So it was used in the NBA uh, Playgrounds, 2K Playgrounds 2, uh, geez, I don't even remember. Someone probably knows better than me. NBA 2K Playgrounds 2, I guess, is probably what it is. And it was in the Christmas, <clears throat> excuse me, DLC pack. So they like released a pack that was all, um, you know, like Christmassy looking, uh, you know, levels and, uh, oh, what's up? Bang on the drums. You good, brother? All right, I'm going to bang on the drums. Let's go. Yeah, so anyway, I made this for a video game. It was used in that. It's a rendition of the classic Christmas carol, God Rest Ye Merry Gentlemen, which is in the public domain. Um... But I took the drums out for this and repurposed it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the main lights off in here. And everything that I trigger is just going to be these lights in my room triggered by the drums. So let me turn the lights out and I'll show you real quick how this setup works. Because I think it's cool and y'all will dig it. All right, so with the setup that you can see, I've brought the screen of what's on my iPad up in the corner here. And with this setup here, I can assign any of the six lights in here across the top line to any of the drums that I have. So right now I have lights one and three being triggered by my snare. I have lights two and four being triggered by my kick drum and lights five and six up top above me triggered by these hi-hats, right? So, and I can change the colors of stuff. So. I'll make, we'll go Christmas colors here. That one's red now. That one's green. There we go. Right, so green on the bottom. Red with a fade for that. Maybe I'll go white for the top lights. Or whatever it thinks, thought it was. Close enough. It's like the snow colors. All right. Uh, I hope this works. <laughs> so far, it's working. Enjoy. And happy holidays, everybody.
Oh, that's what happens when you accidentally hit the stop button sometimes. Hopefully the mix is okay. Is it like blown out over there? Drop it down a teeny bit. Maybe I'll just play around on this for a sec. All lights triggered by the kick, and I'll change the colors too here. Go orange, why not? Right, so I can adjust the fade time. So right now, I just assigned the top two lights, which are five and six, just to my snare. They're blue now. The bottom, all the lights down on the ground are orange, triggered by my kick. And there we go. Yeah. And it's just that easy to just switch it around. I can make the fade time on the snare long. Tight.
That was fun. Thanks, folks. Just a man and his Moog and his lights and all the stuff. Uh, it's one of synesthesia, per se, but, uh, oh, one second. Let me turn you up, Gabe. Hey. Try hey. It. Yeah, buddy. Yo. Yo. That, was that was fire. That was fire. Thanks, brother. Let me uh, turn my lights back on. One sec. We're live. <laughs> it was me the whole time. Yeah, buddy. That was fun. Yeah, that was dope, man. You were hitting it. Thanks for letting me spread out on that. Hell yeah. So I caught you. I caught you from something from there. You want to hear what I got? Oh, yeah. You took some loops. There was one moment I was playing some gnarly d and I was like, I wish. I hope he grabs a loop for this. I, I, bet, I, I, got, I, got, I got something else, but here, this is what I got. Hell yeah. Sick. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to get something with this.
shit. Holy shit. God damn. God damn. God damn. That, was God damn. that was a good one. Bro. <laughs> Super phasey. Is that its own synth, or is that just one of the other synths through like a crazy? It's a. Phase? So oh, it's yeah. a. It just, it's this with a slicer on, and then it's got like distortion. And then it's like slicer, yeah. distortion, and then it's got this delay thing, which makes it do this. Okay, yeah, you're right. It's like a. It's a phasing effect made with a delay. Bro, <laughs> that's just great. That's just vibing. That shit is fire, yo. We gotta make that into a track. Like, it is like a legit. It is right there. Well, right, but I'm saying no, like, like a legit really one. Just yeah, dig into the production of that groove and that vibe, because especially once you mul are multi-tracking with the X32, in a moment like that, we can go back in there and be like, oh, like grab the synth riff and boom, that's cooked and like ready to go. Yeah, wow, <laughs> that's exciting. Yeah, get that. Capture that on its own, wherever. Yeah. The syncopation on it was just perfect. It was just, I was like... Disgusting. Oh, man. Hey. hey. So gnarly. That shit was dope. Yeah, that was that was killing. Money. Damn, this is the most fun. Yeah, so much fun, man. So much fun, man. Making the best of 2020. Yeah. To put it mildly, I'd say. You know? Closing it out right here. Yeah. End of the year. End of the year. Jesus. Wow. What a year. It, really, not only the most horrible traumatic ridiculous year but also yeah, but a very also beautiful, beautiful year, year, very year personally, year, personally year, and for a lot of people I think in a, lot of in a weird way and uh yeah here we are it went fast but also it was jam packed yeah I definitely I, I saved that riff so we'll definitely be making that at some point right there yo yeah that, that, shit was that, that should be cool. like the cause I have this other song and that pretty much uh, goes with the vibe of the other one, so maybe I can make part of like a little EP thing. Yeah, that's that's got to be something. Because the first part too, those two layers, dun dun dun, yeah. dun dun dun. You had the harm, yeah, like those two at the beginning, and then into that gnarly phased thing. It's just so. Yeah. It was <laughs> and and creativity, it's so sick. Thanks, man. This so ba this cool. Behringer is we're gonna make it. It's gonna sound like freaking finished shit. That yeah, just all the capabilities that come with that on top of your current setup is just so exciting too. Yeah, it's gonna be <sighs> sick. But how you doing yeah, over there? I'm, I'm getting a little bit hungry over there. I don't know about you. I haven't really eaten very much I, today. I, I am also getting a little hungry. I got a little time to still catch something before it closes, but yeah. yeah. Cause it's getting close. I got I got a couple homies here. I gotta go grab a air mattress before the Walmart closes. Right on. So I want to try to make that a thing before, and also cool. get food because it's gonna it's gonna close soon. So if you had any more, if you wanted to do one more last hurrah before we head out here, or I'll do one more quick one if I can. Yeah. If you have time. What yeah. time is Walmart closed? Ten. Nine. So we got I got time. Oh shit! And it's 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 Are like it's sure? like it's like eight minutes down the road. So we got until eight thirty. Okay. Eight thirty five. I'll, I'll do like a fiver. Yeah, cool. I'll do a five to seven. Then. Much love, everybody who's been coming and hanging out. We're going to get ready to raid with my good pal over here. Sick. After this. Hell yeah, this has been great. Once again. Yeah, man. Thanks for coming on. worked yeah. out. Thanks for coming on. Sorry, again. Jackson couldn't make it. Yeah, it's all good. He's got to take care of what he's got to take care of, and then he'll be on again for the next season. And then also... He's grinding. He's got his new record. Anytime you're feeling, I'm trying to do some after-hour stuff, so... I'm gonna be streaming oh, yeah. again. I'm gonna be streaming again late night. So I mean, I don't know what your plan yeah. is for later, but I'll be on. Gonna be getting some drumming. I'm gonna try to finish 
working on some new. I'm really trying to get this new uh, camera set up with the new Resolume ready, so I, I can actually. It's like, ugh, this camera's killing me. I just bought a new USB 3.0 thing, and I'm hoping that if I switch the USB hub, that it might be able to recognize the camera. I'm just thinking that I have like five mm. cameras on one USB hub, and it's not it's not letting it separate. So I'm trying to go through the. That's US possible. So I gotta, yeah, I mean, but if it were ever worked that way, then it wouldn't be that, and it I never, also it, just lost a camera out of the. I, it never worked. It never worked. No. So I had the oh, okay. I have this one overhead, and then I was trying to add one more for like this wub camera right here. So it was like at the bottom, yeah, yeah. and it filled the space like at the at, in between wherever when I was when I'm here, or I'm like this, right here. It filled in like yep. this this spot right here, and it was nice. Totally. But totally. Yeah. yeah. So. I'll figure it out. More to more to do. Woo. Right here, I'll do a quick one. This should work. I, I hope it does. Right, let's pop you over to performance mode. Cool. Jules Jensen, everybody! Hey, thanks again. Thanks again, folks. Jules Jensen! Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so, so much. much. It's been a, it's been a pleasure. It's been a it's been, been a pleasure. pleasure. All right, all right, let me turn that down. Okay. All right, all right, let me turn that down. Okay. So this last piece, I'll do it quick. Uh, I can I can spread out on it, but I won't spread too hard. Um, so this one is a visual tribute to the 1970s Italian horror movie Suspiria. I originally made this piece to do at the uh, La Spectacle event a uh, year a year ago, last October, uh, which is hosted by our Honeycomb and my, our, my mutual friends, uh, Le Special. And uh, I tuned it up, made a new version. This one kind of is using some of the lighting stuff too. Hopefully it works. <laughs> that's always the, that's always the uh, mantra. But let's see. So uh, this is, yeah, Mad Midi's tribute to Suspiria. Let's hope it works. Thank you. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, y'all. Thank you so much. Cable, thank you, buddy. Always so fun. Yes, yeah, sir. There we go, dude. You're so, you're the shit, bro. Everybody, make some noise for Jules. Too, hey. Yo, you did such a great job. <laughs> you did a, oh, man, you did a you great too. job. Bro. Oh, it's so fun. It's been so fun. fun to cook with you and uh, just hang and let's keep let's keep this rocking. You know, you know you'll be on the next run of shows. So let's get it. Oh, I'm down. I'm down. I'll, and I will be back with an an, a, an even more crazy new rig. But I'm glad the lighting thing I thought was a cool one tonight just to be yeah, able that to looks sick, man. have something new and fresh. So That was dope, yeah. man. All the love, brother. Thanks for coming through. Be fun. Thank you. Let's, so uh, let's, As uh, always. Let's touch uh, base soon. Let's tech it out on Discord in a little bit. Yeah, when's your thing coming? It's probably coming like early next week, right? Yeah, early next week. So I'll be coming over soon. If you got a chance before the third, I think I'm busy on the first, but like I'll I don't be know, there. a couple days. I'll if you be got there. a chance, it'd be awesome. Or even once I start back on on work, I'm good on like weekends and shit. So I will be there. Um, trust me, my friend. <laughs> sick. Let's yeah, get we'll this. Have a great hang. We'll cook a track or two as well. Everybody, hang, keep hanging out. And we're gonna read our good pal Temple Sloth. So keep the vibe going. Another Thanks, looper. Everybody. Much love. Shout Much out love, to brother. Us. I'll see you soon. See you soon. Five, Peace. four, three, two. For things in my past that'll prove that my future gold Memories searching but nobody's perfect In fact, I'm a dad Acting irrational, smoking a bag For the past, though Oh, uh, what the fuck? Yo Shit Shit Shit